Okay, my t-shirt says, I don't need your attitude, I have my own. And it comes from Antigua, strangely enough. I got it at the Value Village. Okay, uh, I'm going to talk to you today about, um, it seems like a crazy problem in British Columbia, Canada, Vancouver, probably, and other, well, it's pretty much going to be everywhere. And, and what the problem is with COVID-19, a lot of renters don't have any money coming in to pay for the rent. Now, some people are going to go on and say, well, some government subsidy is supposed to be coming through for people that are laid off. I want to put that to the side because that's a, it's a whole other kettle of fish, isn't it? When the government basically has put everyone on the dole like the dirty 1930s and uh who's paying the government for all of this uh, in our world the government's taking on more and more bank debt in order to keep this system afloat and who's going to pay the bank debt back i used to live in british columbia canada I left because the rent was too fucking high and the wages were too fucking low and beautiful place Vancouver Canada I, I did enjoy the city but um, the human beings in the city are um, well sitting in a lot of doggy doo-doo because of their why This is Family Guy. Remember this guy, Stewie? He was pretty smart for a baby. What would he say about your situation in Vancouver? Uh, Komatsu. It's like a heavy equipment company. They probably lease their heavy equipment to small businesses, medium-sized businesses, These businesses work for much larger businesses that do very large scale construction projects. If it gets to be a really large construction project, you either end up with an enormous multinational that you're working with or working for, or you're working uh, on a government contract. This hat is Georgia, and most people remember there was a John Mayer song called Why Georgia Why. So when I put this hat on, it means why. Oh, um, the answer is it's because we have a hard time figuring it out, but we have a shell game going on. And the shell game is... Um, more and more concentration of wealth in the hands of let's just settle it down to the billionaire class an orange hat a safety hat i need a pressure relief valve because the pressure is really growing on tenants who are really looking at difficulties looking at really difficulties, really looking at difficulties. They're trying to figure out how to word it other than, uh, I'm human, I need a place to live, I need food. And uh, then there's the small time landlords. Um, you know, I'm in hawk to the bank up to my eyeballs because I bought these rental properties. And um, if the renters don't pay, then the bank's going to call my loan and I'm going to lose not only my rental properties, but they're going to probably take, um, you know, my individual property, like my own house. The pressure relief valve is not available. Everyone keeps looking to the government to bail them out. It's not easy to tell you, but 
governments are also in debt to banks. Maybe you've been listening to people bitch about the endless problems with, I don't know, what's the problem? The problem is, is it the compound interest? Is it the bidding wars over these properties? Is it um, foreign offshore money? Okay, you don't see me. Um, I was thinking, you know, what don't you see? It's like the hidden hand of the market or something. You no see me. I'm Komatsu guy again. Well, we've had these business cycles before and, uh, you know, it's boom and bust. Marjorie Simpson here. What would a mother tell all of you people who are involved in these? Let's just call it market games. Pretty much what she would say to you is, boys, didn't you ever play Monopoly when you were kids? Didn't you realize that once you play this money game, only one person wins? Everyone else loses. I don't have to tell you that there's a lot of people feeling like I'm really losing. Now what if the government does pump some money into the pockets of renters? Then we kick the can down the road for another business cycle. I mean, we've seen this before, and it seems to be just repetitive. How is this good for humanity as a whole? Continuing to play this money game. I told you, I was in Vancouver, British Columbia. I had to exit the market because it's unlivable there. The whole issue on planet Earth is it's really unlivable. Someone once said, evolve or die. As a human species, it's time we evolved. And recalcitrant ones who say, no, we're going to keep playing the money game. because I don't have an alternative to the money game.
Why, Georgia? The answer is, have you even looked for an alternative to the money game? I don't want to tell you, but there are alternatives to the money game. What's going to push people to finally finish up with the money game? Pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. So much pressure that um, people are going to start looking around. Who's coming to help me? And the pressure keeps building and building, and then you feel sick. In uh, the Great, uh, right before the Great Depression, in the 1930s, there was the 1929 stock market crash. And there were stories about stockbrokers jumping out windows to suicide themselves. If you live in Vancouver, Canada, you know you have a homeless problem. Because you have people sleeping in the streets. You have people sleeping in Stanley Park. You have very poor people, um, the binners, you know, collecting cans out of dumpsters, the dumpster divers. I mean, it's not a new thing. I've gone, been gone from Vancouver for 10 years. And it was, you know, it's, that's a decade. I left a decade ago, and you're still playing this game in Vancouver. And yes, it's happening in California. I don't want to tell you, it's pretty much a worldwide problem. Okay. Now, step out of your situation for a minute. And get into your visionary mode, where I want you to envision something better than this. No, you, no use, or did you get something? Well, I'll tell you what I keep coming up with. Uh, we need a general change in the way that things are going on planet Earth. Somebody's going to say, oh, this is one of these lefties. He's going to say uh, socialism or some form of communism. No, 
it's been tried and um, you know if you're going to go and throw venezuela at me or you know the collapse of the soviet union i was around back then you know i'm not new on the block so let's just push that off the table You are going to have to really put your thinking cap on to make an enormous quantum leap in consciousness. Because um, I've met a lot of people like you. I'm not too pleased with your development you know a lot of people take these self-development courses and it goes on and on and on everyone's got all the buzzwords i even saw um one of the vice presidents of the world bank of canada put up one of these slides on linkedin got all the information but can't make the big jump why He can't do it. He can't see that there is a big change in the works. It means the end of the Royal Bank of Canada. Because we're going to get rid of money. And we're going to get rid of capitalism, socialism, communism, everything to do with an ism. Evolve or die, I told you that before. If you're going to evolve to something beyond what we have now I don't have anything else to tell you because either you're going to evolve or you're going to die How long are you going to sit there wondering, what am I talking about? Maybe you're going to sit there for a week, two weeks, a month. You're going to start praying that this COVID thing goes away. You're going to start praying that, oh my God, I mean, how many small businesses are bankrupt now? have a lot of closures of retail shops and shops that are like that how many of them are really bankrupt now well I've seen this cycle in the United States it's dog eat dog and you know the strip mall owner you know if one small business goes out of business it's just normal you know you just Hire a real estate agent to go and get a new tenant. Boom and bust cycle. It comes and goes. No big deal. It's been going on, going on, going on. These uh, landlords, they're going to say, well, you know, my father did it. My grandfather did it. My great grandfather did it. You know, it's just the way things are. So... You know, maybe you're just expecting that's what's going to happen. It's just going to clear out all the old stuff. 
And then what? What's going to happen? For years, the Vancouver Sun's been talking about small retailers, even on Commercial Drive. Now, if you don't know Vancouver, Canada, Commercial Drive at one time was a place where you could go in Vancouver and it was uh, inexpensive. But I read the Vancouver Sun and they said longtime retailers on Commercial Drive were going out of business. And this was long before COVID-19 and the quarantine. It's never ending. Rent increases, rent increases. An American would say, well, perhaps there is going to be another Great Depression. And then finally, the rents are going to come way down. How long are we going to play this game? Generation after generation. This is... This is being human, buddy. This is the way it's always going to be. It's always been this way. It's always going to be this way. You know, we'll get over it. Why Georgia again? The answer is always... I don't have anything else to tell you other than evolve or die. Who's going to die? Well, it ain't going to be me. You know, I do hear these sob stories about the renters. Some of them saying, well, I fell between the cracks and somehow I'm not going to be able to make the rent and pay for food. So I'm going to have a rent strike and you know, your landlord and you're smart and you know, you read all the papers and you know, somehow the government's going to cover this person, you know, somehow. Fast forward for I don't know how many more times. And this is basically what humanity is up against. A never-ending boom-bust cycle. I mean, they've been calling for Vancouver, Canada to have um, a big market crash in real estate. 25 years? Never really seems to happen. Because of all the money that still keeps pouring in from China. I don't have anything more to tell you in this video. Please subscribe and maybe I'll give you some more hints in my next videos.